Hello, everybody. How is everyone doing? I am on my way to my son's school, so we are en route. <laughs> today and so I'm on my way so I can go on and get that done I gotta get my little one I gotta get his shirts and then my son I had ordered him a package a while back that has his shirts it's got his shirts his jacket for when it get cold it got his polo shirts and I think they have a shirt that they wear specifically on a Friday so we're going to go pick that up order um my little one a few more shirts and then that's it um I wanted to go to Trader Joe's so I'm thinking that's where we're going because I want to try that um Brazilian nut uh, body cream and just picking up a few more stuff just getting out the house the sun is so pretty today so I'm just getting out the house and um that's what we're doing today um might be cooking later I know I said I was supposed to cook last time we did end up cooking it though but I didn't get to film it I'll make sure the next time I film it, I have what I need to set it up and, um, so y'all can see. And that was the only thing I was I was really worried about the last time, other than me being tired. So what are y'all doing on y'all Saturday? I know if you're a mom, then you know we we getting ready for back to school. I can't wait to send them off. <laughs> We're going to send them out. We're going to get their school supplies, which I got to go get that list of things that they need. That's another thing I'm about to go pick up. We're responsible for going out and finding the bottoms, which won't be a problem at all. I'm going to just, I'm going to just probably go to like Academy or somewhere. Somebody's going to have a good back to school sale. It's usually Academy or for them, um, Walmart, honestly, they might have what we need. So, I'm going to get all that done and ready because I want to have it. I want to have everything we need by the end of this month. But we know how that goes. The end of this month is like, what, two weeks away? And then we in August. So, I wanted to hurry up and get it done. I know a lot of people doing some back to school drives and stuff like that um, where you can come by and pick up uh, their backpack filled with supplies and things so that's nice uh, maybe I'll go to one of those and pick up a backpack for um, my pre-k and then for my 6th grader I'm pretty sure they got something for him it probably won't be much. You know, the higher in the grades you get, they don't really ask for all that stuff. It's just probably like the basics, the paper, the folders, the binders, um, the pens, stuff like that. Maybe calculators and stuff for math. I don't know. I don't even know if uh, my pre-K is going to be using a mat for their nap time. But since he's half day, I don't even see them having a nap time probably just um they probably won't even do that but it's so hectic around this time being a parent and you having kids and stuff that's going back to school and who pick them up who come get them and who do this and that and going to new schools and getting all this stuff turned in and immunizations records and stuff and it's just a lot but once we get through this first I'm going to say the first few weeks of school, then it'll be okay. Because now we'll 
be in a routine. And so we'll be back on the, hit the ground running. We'll be back on the ball. So I ain't gonna worry about it. We'll get through it. I look all over the store for the Brazil nut body butter and it was nowhere to be found, not even a display for it. Just came out of Trader Joe's. I went in there for the Brazilian body cream and the cashier told me that um, they were sold out for the summer season so they won't be back until next summer. So I didn't know that. I wouldn't have even came over here, but they had a lot of other stuff that I liked too. So I'm actually a little hungry. So I might go get me find something to eat around here and then I'm gonna head back to the house and 
I will see y'all once I get there. Plus, I had something I wanted to show y'all. Uh, just something that I'm planning on doing. Um, and show y'all on the channel. So, just keep watching. And I'll see you when I get home. Bye, girl. Okay. We're back. I'm going to do a quick grocery haul. Real quick. I got the strawberry beverage from Trader Joe's. I don't Chicken sausage. Popsicle. Um, cinnamon coffee cake. Bell pepper. Sweet bell pepper. Almonds. Dark chocolate and milk chocolate. But bagels. Sesame. Sparkling water. Potato fries. Got mozzarella sticks. Juice juice for the boys so this is a produce wash buffalo style chicken poppers you should try these okay so i'm gonna try this strawberry berry juice it's not that cold but oh it's good yeah i should have got that four pack or whatever pack they had it's good Low in sugar. Wait, crazy. Very low in sugar. Here go the so 60 calories. The sugar is 15 grams. The carbs are 16, but no added sugars. So it's good. This chicken sausage is good it. for um breakfast. Put it in the air fryer, and it's good to have this with oh some scrambled God. eggs. Like Alright, so I used my Trader Joe fruit and vegetable wash. I got my apples in here. I got nectarines, so red and green apples. And so it's just made like a soapy. I had them in a bowl there. And um, so it just said to wash them up. So I wash my hands. I put these in there. Save for 30 seconds and wash them up. And it gets the wax and the pesticides off of it. So you got to really get in there with the stems in and stuff. So, in my nectarines, I'm going to remove the stems. So, if you love nectarines like I do, then you get me. They good. Okay. Thirty seconds. So after the camera, I had did it for like fifteen seconds. But it looks like it's doing okay. I'm gonna take my strainer and I'm gonna stick them in here and I'm gonna wash them. So I got those rinsing off and I'm gonna rinse these off and rinse all the wash off and then there you go. Fresh nectarines and apples. And you can put blueberries, strawberries in there, whatever fruit you have, vegetables, cucumbers, your lettuce, um, onion, anything. And it'll wash it off. Or if you don't have that Trader Joe's wash, vinegar will be just fine. Vinegar and lemon in a wash. And it'll do the same thing. But here's what I want to get to. I'm going to make a weekly trace. I think I can get through them by just switching them up every week or just however I feel. If I want to do a week, I'll do a week. Or if we're going to do them for the month, which probably be better to switch them up during the week. I think we'll do that. But here's what I got. I'll show you. We got Ariana Grande Cloud which I don't know when I'm gonna be spraying this, but it could be like a Monday, Tuesday, whatever. But the rave about it smelling like Baccarat Rouge is real. Um, it does smell like a dupe. And I think it's the best dupe. And so I have the one fluid ounce. And you can see my dent, I spray this, uh, pretty often. I love how it smells. It smells, it smells good enough to wear to work, but it's not too much. Um, I don't know the notes of them, but I'll show it to you 
Uh, once I pull it up, I'll have that on the screen as well. And I'll just, you know, just kind of write them at the bottom for you. So Ariana Grande, that'll be one. And I love how pretty it is. I love that it's a cloud. And it's just so cute. Like, why not have this in your rotation and in your collection? So Ariana Grande cloud. I have Be Delicious because, oh my goodness, in high school, I smelled somebody that had this on when they first came yeah. out or yeah. when I first known about it. And this smells just like a juicy apple. No. And so I think um I think this would be great um to have to spray on during the week to wear to work and all that stuff and I think it'll be perfect and I love DKNY and I want the red juicy one. I love the whole collection. So if you have this, then you know how juicy the apple smell. Speaking of apples, I also have Zara's apple juice. And this compared to this, this one would be a lot sweeter. But this one, this one smells, mm, this is a little different, like, this is more crisp, but more of a perfume. Like, this one smells, DKNY smells exactly like an apple, like a juicy one. But this one smells like an apple, but it, there's a splash of just like, the, it's very strong, like, um, maybe like a stronger one. That's not too sweet, but you can still get that apple smell, but it smells great. So, I can just kind of switch those up, but I love them both together. I already told you about the Vince Commuto, so you know how I feel about this. This is like the perfect one. Um, Amore is, oh, it's just, it's perfect. When you spray it on, you wear it to work, you wear it just during the week, you wear it before you go to out shopping, go to front to the grocery store. I love this one. And once again, I'll pop that one up. And I'm almost done with this, but when I find that bigger bottle, I will be getting that because this one, this is me in a perfume bottle. It's nice. I love that one. And you see the shoe. And you know what the shoe means. This is Miss Carolina Herrera. And this is just awesome. I got it because of the shoe. And I thought that was just so cute and so girly and feminine. And it's just like, why not have a stiletto in your selection? I don't know if they come bigger than this. If they do, maybe I'll go in um, Dillard's. I would get this one again i would um definitely buy it again this is the one fluid ounce as well um i think it'll be nice if i get that red one that'll smell so good um and i'm excited about getting that one another one that i wanted to get is the Louis Vuitton at trap res because i give in everyone has been talking about it and i want the travel the one that comes with the little travel vials and i think it's four and i think it costs like 250 dollars or something like that but i like that they come in the travel i'm back sorry about that my battery went dead on me so but we were talking about the five perfumes that i want to have um and it would be Edo. like i was saying the very thin one if you've ever smelled that or thinking about smelling it, you should try it because it smells just so pretty. That's what I wanted to show you. I remember I told you that when I was in a car and once I had left Trader Joe's. I wanted to show you that and let you know what um what I'm doing now. And they're so cute. You know, um, it's just something to get into. Yeah, I showed you the stuff that I got from Trader Joe's. You go on Trader Joe's and you see that chicken sausage, your jalapeno chicken, and I think it was an Italian one. Those are good for breakfast. Um, it's good to get you with like a chicken sausage link and scramble you some eggs up. And um, you could do like um, eggs and um, hash browns. 
or uh, dice up some potatoes and um, put them in an the air fryer and make like a potato scramble. But it's the perfect breakfast sausage without having the pork. You want to do something a little bit healthier, but replace it with your normal breakfast sausage, your Jimmy Dean and stuff because chicken is better for you. So you know I'm here to look out for you. Listen, just click on my picture, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next Sunday.